Um, so JC's called to order. Mark and Vince rode up, Maggie in question mark. Maggie was tossing tangerine peels into the trash can in the Dodon room. In some ways, a lot of people say that JC is the heart of a Sudbury philosophy. I think that JC is one of the most important parts of the school, even though sometimes it's like the worst part. <laughs> to describe it in one word, I'd probably say messy. Uh, you know, like Winston Churchill said, democracy is the worst form of government, but it's better than everything else. There's a law and order system, so you can't just do whatever you want and break a rule and not see the consequences. JC stands for Judicial Committee. We have four age groups. We have two JC clerks and we have a staff member. One of the clerks will be running JC, so they'll be like, you know, leading the entire thing, and then the other one will be writing. So they write all the reports and like, you know, if the person pled guilty or not. Our school is governed by the law book, and if anybody makes an infraction on one of those, then they feel free to write it up on a grievance form. I don't mind at all people using my basketball, but they used to ask me, and I don't really even mind if they do it without my permission if they use the basketball. It's just the point that they're not moving it back that is really annoying. And they will be called in. Each side will give their side of the story. Sometimes it's as simple as, yes, I did it, I need to work on that. Other times it will be more of a he said, she said, and they will have to spend an hour or more just explaining what's going on and talking and debating. Um, whenever I use penis ball, I'm usually like with Sasha. She so usually gets her permission, just like use the thing. We put it back like, or else all the time, either like in the bin or in her cubby, usually in her cubby. Each student gets to see both sides of JC. Once you're on JC, you realize, okay, no one wants to be sitting here for hours on end dealing with this, so that's the incentive to become a better person. It's not really fun where you're in the middle of a game and you have to be like in JC and it's like, oh, I have to go to JC, guys. You learn that you can't just do things without thinking about how it makes people feel. I think it's very cool the way it's so unique in terms of, you know, you get tried by your peers instead of one person saying that you did this and here's your punishment. In JC, you can really kind of explain your situation, how you feel and what happened to the entire JC. And nobody is biased because there's like, you know, more than just one person on JC. This is an investigation about mud being everywhere in the new building upstairs. So on the stairs, in the hallway, and in the computer room. Were you in those places? Yeah, but I cleaned it with the vacuum yesterday. You do get to feel like you can put your case out there. I've been through other situations in life, and, and even as young as being in second grade in public school, feeling like if something happened, I had no recourse. Even that young, realizing that if someone in authority told me something, that was it. In public school you can, you know, tell, you know, the teacher, but it's just one teacher. And there are two, maybe even more people. And so it's kind of like, you can't tell, each person can't tell their story, because the teacher's just going to be like, whatever, like, I don't really care, just like, in school suspension for all of you, whatever. If I, I got in trouble because some kid picked a fight with me, we both ended up in detention. No one up there cared. There's no venue to give your side of the story. It was just uh, uh, authoritarian, which is unfortunate because I, I think a lot of people go through their entire youth feeling that and going into their adulthood feeling like they, they don't have any power or control over what they do and what happens to them and accepting consequences of things that are given to them instead of judging, well, is this the way it should be? The benefit of having a voice is not feeling like a drone and feeling like you matter and feeling like you can make a change. The younger you start something, the better you can be at it. School years, you know, they're some of the most formative years of your life and the idea of waiting until you're 18 or however old you are to start dealing with certain things really, I think, is, is detrimental. Even coming 
to Fairy Haven, having to suddenly have these sort of interactions. I feel like it's maybe even more humbling. Uh, people really learn that if I don't take responsibility for myself, you know, I look, I almost get looked down on by my peers, and that's something I don't want. Where, you know, when you go to a regular school, it's getting sent to the principal's office is almost a mark of being cool, you know, it's being suspended, all that stuff. Oh, you're a rebel, and you know, all that. Here, it's very different. You know, being a part of JC. People getting called into JC to defend themselves, you know, it's 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 a very different experience. You don't you don't want that. You, you pride yourself in having a very small JC record. Uh, destruction, alteration, or misuse of school property is not permitted. So we could charge with that. Karen, how do you play to misuse of school property? How do you play to running? Okay. Uh, do you guys have any sense ideas for yourself? Yeah. I move for those two. Uh, no Chesapeake room for three days. All in favor of uh, restricted from the upstairs new building for three days for Gaffin and Kieran. All in favor? All opposed? All standing? Here you go. Passes. That's sentence. Please come and sign. You can sign in, you can sign out, and you can go if you have to. <laughs> Don't make me... Something amazing happens at Fairhaven, I think. There's a lot less violence here. Matters are handled in generally a civil way. I love that the kids take responsibility for themselves. And not only that, the kids who are serving on JC take responsibility for the school. It, it's, it can be like really intimidating sometimes if you've done something that's like really bad and you don't want to say it, but I think that once you like, once you're comfortable with JC, it's a really great, great part of the school.